according to relevant media reports, on the evening of September 1st, the two astronauts Chen Dong and Liu Yang of the Chinese Shenzhou 14 crew successfully opened the airlock exit door of the Wendian experimental cabin. The first out-of-vehicle mission during the on-orbit residency mission was carried out, this is the first time that astronauts Chen Dong and Liu Yang have performed extravehicular activities, and it is also the first time that Chinese astronauts have carried out extravehicular activities from the Wendian experimental cabin airlock. In the future, this airlock will also become the main exit channel for the entire space station system, the report said. Let's take a look at the detailed introduction of the airlock cabin of China Wentian Experimental Cabin. As a new home on the Chinese space station, the visual effect of the Wentian Experimental Cabin airlock is very unique, showing the characteristics of an outer square and an inner circle. This is also the only cabin in the space station system that looks square. It is understood that the outside of the cabin airlock, which looks like a square shell, is an external exposure experimental platform. The experimental platform is equipped with 22 standard load interfaces, some of which are also equipped with fluid circuit temperature control. Experts from the Aerospace Science and Technology Group said that the square plate structure is mainly to facilitate the robotic arm to grab the load and install it on this platform. On the other hand, these loads all have specific orientation requirements, which can ensure the observation field of a load. The Wentian experimental cabin will carry a set of 5-meter-long, small arms outside the airlock. This 7 degree of freedom robotic arm is compact and high precision. The small hand is convenient for grasping small and medium-sized equipment and performing more delicate operations. Astronauts can use human-computer interaction in the cabin to complete the multimode operation of the space robotic arm. In addition, the small arm can also form a 15-meter-long combined arm with the core cabin boom to carry out more extravehicular operations. This set of combined arms can also crawl between the three cabin combinations of Tianhe, Wentian, and Mengtian space stations. At that time, the Mecha Warrior can control a larger range outside the cabin. In the next 10 years, scientific experimental loads carried on the space station can be accurately delivered to their corresponding standard load interface positions through the robotic arm realizing plug and play, and astronauts will no longer need to go out of the cabin for manual operations. The dressing room when the astronauts carry out the exit activities, the exit airlock is cylindrical. The dressing room on the Wendian experimental module has a larger space, and the astronauts can stretch and relax more when preparing for the capsule and returning from the outside of the capsule. Previously, the crews of Shenzhou 12 and Shenzhou 13 performed the exit mission through the exit hatch located in the node module of the core module of the space station. The diameter of the hatch of this exit hatch is 85 centimeters. The Wentian experimental cabin door developed by the Space Station Structure and Institution Team of the 5th Academy of Aerospace Science and Technology Group this time has a diameter of 1 meter. Before astronauts leave the cabin, they only need to use the operating handle on the door to unlock it. Use the power assist mechanism to eliminate residual pressure, and pull the door handle to complete the door opening. It is not only more convenient for astronauts to enter and exit from here, but also can carry large equipment out of the cabin to work, and the ability to work outside the cabin is greatly improved. In addition, the cabin door is also equipped with a tailor-made cabin door protective cover, and the cabin door leak detector is used as a sealing detection method, and the cabin door pressure point switch is used as an auxiliary state judgment, so as to fully guarantee the door of the sky for safe use. According to the different needs of on-orbit use, the research and development team will also be equipped with a variety of hatch products with different functions in the follow-up missions such as the Mengtian Experimental Cabin. The safety tether is the lifeline connecting astronauts to the space station and protects the safety of astronauts when they leave the space. During the out-of-vehicle activities of Shenzhou 7, the safety tether used is of fixed length, and its effective length is only more than one meter. In this outing activity, the Shenzhou 14 astronaut crew has a longer safety tether, allowing them to walk in space more freely. In the construction of the space station, 
the astronauts have to complete the installation and maintenance of the space station equipment and other tasks. The scope of the space station is larger, the operation is more difficult, and the safety requirements are stricter. It is urgent to develop a longer and retractable safety system. Rope Mechanism To this end, the research and development team has carried out research and development work with all their strength to help the astronauts get out of the cabin. The new retractable safety tether mechanism can ensure a safe connection of more than 10 meters between the astronaut and the space station cabin, without hooking the space suit or interfering with the astronaut's movement, and can withstand the temperature difference of nearly 200 degrees Celsius in space, space irradiation, space particles and other harsh environments. At the same time, the R&D team innovatively proposed an ingenious design scheme, which realizes the constant force retraction of the wire rope, without the need for a motor to provide rotational torque, avoids the introduction of cables, and ensures the convenience and mobility of astronauts. The designers also selected a special coating material resistant to space irradiation to protect the wire rope, reducing the resistance during the winding process, avoiding the impact of the space irradiation environment on the wire rope, and preventing the wire rope from hooking on the space suit. The design scheme of the rope pulley set to guide the wire rope to meet the requirements of long service life. In this out-of-vehicle mission, when the astronauts were operating outside the capsule, the lighting system on the space station built a clear and bright working environment in the dark space environment, which is impressive. It is understood that in this mission, the instrumentation and lighting subsystem brought two new artifacts to the astronauts, the gimbal lighting. Previously, the space station planned an integrated, multi-level and multi-dimensional lighting system with multiple cabin segments and multiple degrees of freedom dynamic lighting as the main component and fixed lighting as the supplement. However, the extravehicular pan-tilt lighting used for the first time has a full coverage angle rotation function. Through the multi-degree of freedom rotation mechanism and the optical system design of the projection light, the astronaut's exit path and the illumination of the extravehicular operating point are fully guaranteed. The lighthouse for astronauts to walk outside the cabin. The exploration of the starry sky is endless, from Dongfenghong, one to beta networking, from manned spaceflight to deep space exploration to the construction of space stations, China's aerospace industry has reached one milestone after another and will make more development for mankind's peaceful use of space sexual contribution.